Well, more strides are being made in the area of telemedicine as local physicians are now being given the opportunity to sharpen their knowledge and skills in cancer and blood disorder diagnosis, particularly in children. It's all being made possible through a partnership with the Sick Kids Foundation, the Public Hospitals Authority, the University of the West Indies, and the Bahamas Telecommunications Company. In fact, BTC pledged $100,000 for the opening of the new telemedicine lecture room in the oncology department at the Princess Margaret Hospital. It will allow ro remote physician-patient teleconferencing with physicians in Canada. Our goal is simple, to close the gap in the assessment and care of children with cancer and serious blood disorders. Caribbean statistics show that the survival rate for children with cancer is between 50 and 60 percent. But medical director of the Sick Kids Caribbean Center in Trinidad, Dr. Victor Blanchett, says the aim is to help improve survival. Pediatric oncologist Dr. Kurt Botkin talks about some of the benefits of telehealth. Reduce waiting time for appointments and overseas travel because often for families to raise this amount of money to actually travel created a significant delay in um, instituting treatments that would have been life-saving. Local physicians have seen an increase in the cases of cancers in children over the last five years and in some cases those children have not survived. In fact, director of the University of West Indies School of Clinical Medicine and Research, Dr. Robin Roberts, tells us that over the last few years, there have been more than a dozen cases of a rare Wims tumor, a cancer in the kidney. The rate in the past two years, he says, has practically exceeded a per capita basis of what's being seen in developed countries. Uh, if you look at the number of cancers that we see in this country, we can now benefit from the experience of some place like Toronto where they are seeing almost 400 cancers in children a year. We at BTC recognize that a nation's advancement is through its people. And as a major employer in the Bahamas, BTC is involved in the welfare of many families. Health Minister Dr. Perry Gomez is proud of the initiative and is optimistic about its future success. I believe we are unveiling a path to the future, a brighter future where not only our Bahamian islands but our entire world is far more interwoven and jointly resourced.